See folks, th this is what intelligent people do. They don't kill the snake, they get a hold of somebody who knows snakes to help it out, because snakes are good for the environment. Aloha, top of the morning friends and family. How are you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? I am on my way to go rescue a snake. Apparently, uh, there's a gopher snake caught in a gardening net just down the road here. My plan is to bring you guys back with me to do a little update on that clutch that hatched out the other day that was just totally whacked out and... Okay, uh, we'll just pick this up after we stop driving. Oh yeah, that that netting. They try to they try to squeeze through it, and then it's like. So his head is. Oh, he's all tied up in there. Oh, that's a good. Cool. Wow, that's a good size one. In the yeah, picture I saw, it didn't look like it was that big. I took a one like sweater. So I would say she, just based on the size, but you know. Yeah, right here you got a little scar tissue right there. Yeah. These wild gopher snakes, they go through some some battles. You can tell that spot's not shedding as well as, yeah. as other spots do. You guys mind if I plug whale rock at all in this video too? <laughs> we'll do a little advertisement for whale rock while we're at it. <laughs> <laughs> king snakes are awesome. See folks, th this is what intelligent people do. They don't kill the snake, they get a hold of somebody who knows snakes to help it out because snakes are good for the environment. I like to think she's probably smelling the energy of like this isn't I could you know if it's for snakes I like to think they can figure it out pretty quick it's like okay I'm not dead it's got it's got me but I'm not dead so the, their immediate you know their immediate thing is like you know something's gonna eat them and if if it's not if they're not getting eaten right away then they start I think they're whatever kind of brain they have in there which is much different than ours starts working like, okay, okay, I'm still not dead. I'm still not dead. Same with yeah. whales that are stuck in netting too. They just kinda... Yeah, wh whales at least have that mammalian brain, so they've got a lot of other things that can function on a higher level than something like a, at least what physically is there for a snake's brain. It doesn't have all those things to process, all those other emotions that mammals can. It looked like it was a hot mess, but it's actually gonna be a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Show the camera here. It's nice, it's a bigger snake, it makes it a lot easier to work with these scissors yeah. than if it was a little tiny one. <laughs> She's like, come on, this is the most excitement I'm getting all even. Okay, almost there. go. One wild gopher snake. You can see that in the back here where he's tangled up on the underside. Yeah, this, this snake's been through some battles. Yeah. I mean, this is, this is you can tell because that's a pretty decent sized uh, gopher snake right there. Don't go back in the net. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, those rocks are a perfect spot for her to curl up and then use them for temperature and stuff. Hey, why don't you go hang out next to that big rock right there. Give you something to keep you safe. There you go. She'll find where it's good for her. She's undercover. No hawk's gonna swoop down on her down there, so. Well, snake in the wild is always a gold star day for me. So this was uh, Niels and Bimmer Udsen. These folks actually put on Well Rock Festival here. They own the local winery and they're fantastic people, family friends. And I'm gonna put a link down in the description for the Whale Rock Music Festival. It's a awesome event that unfortunately I think I'm gonna to have to miss this year for a reptile show because September is crazy busy with reptile shows. But anyway, I like to support good people doing good things uh, like Nils and Bimmer are doing. So thanks again to you guys for 
give me a gold star day finding a snake in the wild. As you guys are watching this, I'm on day five of no processed foods challenge I put up there to do. But as I'm filming this, I'm on day one. So I feel a little bit out of it. I think I'm actually going to just go back to the house shut the camera off because it is all this morning for you guys watching this when it first came out it is evening for me and we'll pick up with that clutch for myself tomorrow but for you right now uh and of course for my good deed i got some nice fantastic fresh chard from the garden some fresh kale from the garden i'm gonna throw that in a smoothie for breakfast tomorrow yeah failed last night on that challenge I'm not gonna lie failed on it failed big time but it's okay jump right back on the horse kale smoothie this morning with some apple in it oh really of course the whole time I'm setting up the freaking AC doesn't kick on and then right when I start recording there goes the AC look at this guy he's on he's just on the go oh sidewinding sidewind you see that nut case whoa whoa don't sidewind off the table you freaking donkey He's absolutely on the go. All right, all right. That's snake number two is a male. The first snakes, okay, okay. Let's do a little recap on this clutch. If you didn't watch the first video, it's a coral glow pied to a phantom Mojave, which is a purple passion female. So all the babies had to be phantom or Mojave because of the female being allelic, super form, ALS, whatever you want to call it. And then the male being a coral glow pied everything is going to be 100 het pied the thing was that i thought that every coral glow would be a male and every non-coral glow would be a female but we have two non-coral glow males in the clutch that threw me for a loop from everything i've gotten back feedback from everybody who knows what they're talking about so far it just sounds like i hit the genetic lottery because one of the theories was that there was a second male but there isn't that female has only been with that male ever it had to be the dad and every now and then you can get one that jumps across you know the coral glow jumps alleles or jumps chromosomes in the pairings sometimes and but for it to happen to two different snakes and for me to go on the bad side like the, the cool thing would be if i got coral glow phantoms and mojaves that were female that would have been the way i would have liked it to jump but apparently it jumped the other way and i got phantoms and mojaves that are not coral glow that are male so that's what happened and it's like congratulations but everything's het pied we got three males three females let me show you the males first this is number one he is a coral glow mojave and we'll look at the other snakes and i'll kind of show you how i look and tell apart phantom and mojave it's not easy in fact if anybody thinks that i'm messing up please comment down below i never claim to be an expert at gene identification however i feel like i've got a pretty good handle on telling mojave apart from phantom but rest assured that before i actually list these guys up for sale on morph market i will definitely be letting them have another shed or two so i can just be absolutely 100 percent certain before i list them but that being said if you want to be on the list email me right here and let me know which of these snakes you're interested in this is snake number one male coral glow mojave 100 percent het pied looking very nice and the mojave i say because it doesn't doesn't have as thick black around the sides and the alien heads are very clean there's not a lot of uh pixelation going on inside the alien heads and the thickness again around the alien heads of the dark is not as much and the blushing is is heavy coming up between in the flames or in between the alien heads the flames the blushing is very heavy there which i tend to see in mojave a lot and then also these very uniform circular alien head things happening over here that's uh that's where i get the mojave look and uh brian gundy if you're watching this, this video i know you got a lot of experience with this particular stuff man if you would leave a comment down below and, and 
let us know if we're on track or not. That would be fantastic, my friend. I'd appreciate it. Now I'm gonna compare these two side by side if I, they'll allow it. Uh, snake number two and snake number three, both males. Snake number two on my left hand is a Mojave. Snake number three on my right hand is a Phantom. And you can tell the Mojave, there he's got a little brighter yellow in the alien heads. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, these snakes are just on the move. They're gonna make this virtually impossible. They're not doing the ball python thing. They're, they're doing the we're gonna move thing. Let's see if I can line them up. The Mojave is on top and the Phantom is on bottom. So the Mojave, you can see it's a little cleaner inside the alien heads, whereas the Phantom, Right here, the phantom has got a lot more pixelation going on inside the alien hands. Not a ton of pixelation, but enough to know that it's a phantom. Again, Mojave on top, phantom on bottom. You can see the amount of black on the phantom around the alien heads, whereas the Mojave just has heavy, heavy blushing in between the alien heads. And that's kind of it. Check out the tracks on this male phantom's belly. Very, very nice. Very, very sweet. Very good, very good head, very, very head pied. Oh my gosh, dude, the snake is freaking on the way. If you, if you want a very, very active male, Mojave, het pied, this is your dude right here. He's a go-getter. Then we've got the ladies, much more chill. Snake number four, snake number five, and snake number six. And if you remember from the first video, snake number six, let's show, no, let's, let's go in order, let's go in order. Okay, so snake number four, this is a female Mojave. And again, that blushing in between the alien heads is what lets me know that she's Mojave as opposed to Phantom, as well as the uh, perfectness of the circles in the alien heads is another thing that lets me know. Like, especially like, like right here, these, just the way they're formed right there is very nice. Snake number six is trying to leave us. Where are you going, girl? Come on, you got, male number two and female number six. Those are the energetic of the bunch. Oh my gosh, you see this? Okay. So again, snake number four, female Mojave, 100% het pied. Oh my God, dude, the freaking camera not focused is just driving me nuts, dude. Female number four, Mojave, and there's the markings that really dif differ differentiate her. I showed on the first video. I don't remember what number I numbered her as because I was so confused about there being <laughs> more than one male. But this is snake number four with a nice little face and little C cups pointing upwards. Mojave, female, 100% het pied, looking absolutely fantastic. Let's see the whole snake for you right here. Look how much space there is between the alien heads up on the neck here. They're just all sitting there all by themselves, all lonely, all Mojave-like. Yeah, it's looking good. It's a good looking snake. Snake number five. I was torn, slightly torn, only slightly torn about this being Mojave or Phantom, but just looking at it uh, right here, it's slightly more gold inside the alien heads that rather than yellow, it's just more of a kind of goldish tinge and uh, a little more busyness going on inside the alien heads. And then that really thick black instead of high blushing in between the alien heads. Again, it gives you that phantom look versus that Mojave look. It's a subtle thing, you know? It's a, it's, it's very, very subtle little tiny things to tell between phantom and Mojave. So that's why I'm, again, asking for comments down below to confirm what I'm saying from other people who I would consider experts above myself. And did I say this was number five? I totally lied. This is snake six. <laughs> and you can tell because right there, snake six A. This is number six, female snake six. Okay, so it's snake number five. See what happened? Snake number five was so fast and ran away from me that I thought it was still snake six. But no, it was number five, just going so fast that I couldn't even tell. And look, still going fast. What's up, snake five? What's up, girl? Why, what you got, what are you off into in such a rush? I don't understand. The, the really defining characteristics of this one, which is also a phantom, 100% het pied female. These white, that are not showing up right now as I'm saying it, this little white busyness coming up in between the alien heads, like that thing right there. Oh my gosh. If you could just sit still for a second, it would make this so much easier. It's all right, at least I'm not trying to show up retics or something like that. That would be, can you imagine? having this much trouble with a ball python. Anyway, this is number five. Yeah, we've jacked up the order a little bit. Snake number five. F 
female phantom 100% head pied with the nice little white stuff coming up in there. Ah, uh, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm getting irritable again. Uh, the kale smoothie's not helping. Okay, here we go. Check this out. Got a clutch hashing out right now. It's gonna be a pastel enchi clown to our super fire girl. So everything's gonna be fire, 100% head clown. And we got one, unfortunately, here that didn't make it out of the egg. And it's just kind of toast, but it happens. Leave a comment down below. What do you want to see next? Do you want to see on Monday? Do you want to have a music Monday? Do you want to see this clutch out of the egg? Do you want to do both? Leave a comment down below. Let me know. And we will accommodate you. You guys have yourselves a great rest of your day. Thank yourselves for being here. And I thank you as well. Aloha. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. See you on Monday.